Hi friends, it's Miss Sarah, and it's time to do a ELA story. But first, let's go over our rules. Rule number one, eyes are watching. Rule number two, ears are listening. Let's turn them on. Rule number three, voices are quiet. Rule number four, body is calm. All right, friends. So today, I am going to read you a winter story called First Snow. Because yesterday, or yesterday and the day before, we had our first real sticking snow that maybe you guys can go outside and play in the snow. This is so, this is called First Snow. That's the title. And this is the title page. And our author who wrote the book is Bernadette Ford. First Snow. It is, it is dark. It win a winter night. The moon is bright, barely there behind a lazy haze of gray. It is gray in the forest. And that is a fox. A fox. Snow begins to fall first slowly big flakes softly falling melting fast then falling faster swirling blowing twirling down to cover the meadow far below the cold White blanket, Bunny and his sisters and brothers nestle closer to their mother, keeping one another warm and dreaming of green grass on the meadow. Bunny awake, awakes from his nap, slowly, softly creeps out of his warm lair, meaning his warm home. Up pokes his small nose. Where's your nose? There it is. It's your nose. To sniff the air. It is cold for early winter. Brothers and sisters follow Bunny out into the cold first snow. <gasps> They're going out to see what is all that white stuff. Soon the whistling winds die down or calm down and it is quiet in the meadow. Curious bunnies always listening hop across the glistening meadow. Glistening means shiny white meadow. They're listening for other animals. Seeing shadows on the meadow, Bunny hides to watch the nighttime. <gasps> He's scared. He doesn't like the shadows. He thinks it's dangerous. Dangerous or scary. <laughs> Bunnies see a hungry chipmunk scooping under drooping tree limbs. Ooh, he sees squirrel or chipmunks eating, scurrying together their pine cones in the cold first snow. Oh, the chipmunk chipmunks weren't ready for winter, weren't ready for the white snow. They need to get food.
there is a gray wolf on the prowl, meaning he's on the hunt for food. There, there, a barn owl scooping down to search for dinner. The owl is looking for food too. Bunnies know to hide, to keep on hiding in the cold first snow. So Bunny knows not to go out when the gray wolf is there or the owl because those animals eat rabbits. So they're all hiding. Soon there's moonlight on the meadow. Soon the houses glow with lamplight. Smoke and smells curl up and out of all the chimneys. Oh, so the houses are waking up. The lights are coming on. Children bundle up against the wind, come out to play in the cold first snow. And the children are waking up and they're getting all bundled up in their snow gears and their snow hats and their snow mittens and their snow boots to go outside and play. Will you do that today? Now bunnies race across the meadow, leaving paw prints as they go. Now it's time for the bunnies to have fun in the snow. Hopping, stumbling, rolling, tumbling, playing in the cold first snow. Bunnies stop to watch the children as they hurry home for cocoa. Ooh, cocoa or hot chocolate. Cheeks and noses all aglow, meaning their cheeks and their noses are red. Look, the bunnies are standing by the snowman that the children made. Are you gonna make a snowman today? Children leave a fat, white snowman gleaming, meaning shining, in the bright, white uh, moonlight, beaming at the bunnies in the cold, first snow. <gasps> Ooh, the bunnies really like that snowman that the children made. <gasps> oh, now it's time to go home the end. I hope you like that story. Until next time. Bye.